Factor Theorem and Factorising Cubics. Further Maths GCSE topic, um, but this is this is really an AS A level topic as well, so it can be used for either. Okay, this video is in response to a comment made by Asher Hodson on my YouTube channel asking how do you go about solving cubics like this. Now I've done some questions on Factor Theorem already, um, where you're just showing things are factors, um, but this is this is a an extension of that. So um, I'm going to show you a couple of ways of doing this. I'm going to show you a sort of standard way which is to do polynomial division. I'd have thought if you've been taught this, this is how you should have been taught it. And then I'm going to show you sort of an ad hoc way of doing it if that's you know a little bit too tricky for you. Maybe you want a, a different way of doing it. Okay so um, the standard thing to do is to divide the x plus 5 into the cubic x cubed plus 7x squared plus 2x minus 40. And the way we do that is we try to think of what we need to multiply this by to get this. So we start with the x term. What we're going to multiply x by to get an x cubed, but I need to multiply it by an x squared. And that should be fairly apparent that we've got to start this, this what's going to be a quadratic off with an x squared to get the x cubed value. And then realize when we multiply that by that we get the x cubed. But we're also going to have to multiply the 5 by the x squared, and that gives us 5x squared. So we're missing 2x squared because we will need to make 7x squared. So how are we going to make the 2x squared? Well, we need to multiply the x by 2x. And when we multiply the x by the 2x, we get the 2x squared. Um, we also, as we would do in a long division, we bring these terms down to complement what we've got left over. And then uh, times this by 2x to get 2x squared, which is what we want, and then we do 2x times 5, which is 10x, and then we subtract those to find out what we need to, to combine with the, with the uh, uh, 2x to make, um, sorry, to, to combine with the 10x to make the 2x, we, did, we need to take away this, and then we take away this, so it's minus 8x, and then again we bring this down to make minus 40, and if we've done it right, there should be one number that multiplies by this to give us this, and luckily there is, it's minus 8. Minus 8 times x is minus 8x, and minus 8 times 5 is minus 40, and that finishes it off nicely. Okay, so that's our that's our factor, that's our remainder when we divide by x plus 5, we get x squared plus 2x minus 8. And then we can go on to solve that using a standard factorization, it's a nice quadratic factorization where we've got x, and we've got minus 8 here, so we multiply to get minus 8, which is going to be minus 4 and 2. Um, so not minus 4 and 2, 4 and 2, but it adds to give us 2, so it must be plus 4 and minus 2. Therefore, x equals minus 5, x equals minus 4, and x equals 2. So that's our solutions to this equation. Okay, a slightly more ad hoc way of doing it than to, to do this division type method, which can be a little bit confusing if you've not practiced it very much. Um, maybe if you think about it this way. So we, if you think about um, expanding brackets and stuff, you might have used a grid method, or if you just think about multiplication grid methods, you might have been shown in the past. Um, if we think about x plus 5, as two separate terms, which are going to create some terms, and then we've got this quadratic. Now, it, it clearly, it has to start x squared because we need x cubed, and we're times by x. So the first term of our quadratic is going to be x squared, and also we know, must know what the last term is because we're going to make minus 40, and we're going to times by 5 to make minus 40. So the last term must be minus 8. So we, when we multiply out this um, quadratic bracket by this um, linear bracket, we end up with a lot of terms that we we can work out. So we've got an x cubed term, we've got 5 times x squared, we've got a minus 8x, and we've got a, a minus 40. And when we combine all this, we want to make this expression here. So if we think about what the missing thing is, what's going to go in here is something times x. Now we've got 5x squared, but we need 7x squared. So, and we're times by x on the x, so this has got to be a 2. It's the only thing it can be, because when we times the 2, x by x we get 2x squared and that makes our 7x squared which is going to go in here. And just to make sure it works we've got 2x times the plus 5 makes plus 10x. 
and that adds to the minus 8x to give us the 2x, and we've got the minus 40. So that works out really nicely when we have x squared plus 2x minus 8. So this is a different way of getting to this situation. We don't have to do this possibly complicated, but this, this polynomial division, if you learn how to do this, this will keep you in good stead when you, if you go on to do A-level maths, because you might have to do um, uh, polynomials with, power, with higher powers than cubes. Okay, so let's move on to a couple of practice questions. Obviously it's best if you have a go at these before I go through them, so stop the video now and have a go at these on a bit of paper. Then I'll go through them and see how you get on. Okay, so uh, I'm going to show both methods for this, so don't worry which other method you use that I showed you before. Let's start with the standard division method. So x minus 1 into x cubed minus 7x plus 6. Now this one doesn't have an x squared term. That may may cause problems. It may not. Let's have a look. So um, what we times in x by to get x, square, x cubed? Well, that's x squared. x squared times this gives us x squared times x is x cubed x squared times minus 1 is minus 1x squared. Okay, there's our first problem. I've not left a space for the x squared. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to rub this bit out. I'm actually going to put plus 0x squared minus 7x plus 6. Okay, so I've got that and I'm going to subtract um, subtract those two. So we've got this, take away this is 0 0x minus, and this is where it gets tricky, minus minus 1x squared is just x squared. And then we're going to bring those two down to give the thing of minus 7x plus 6. Now what do I need to multiply x by to get x squared? Well, that's just x. I'm going to multiply by an x. So I've got x times x is x squared. x times minus 1 is minus x. I'm going to subtract those. And that disappears, and minus 7x minus minus x is like plusing x, which is minus 6x. That comes down and gives plus 6. And what do I need to multiply this by? Uh, this by to get this? Well, that's minus 6. So I've got minus 6 times x is minus 6x. Minus 6 times minus 1 is plus 6. And that shows me that that's the solution to that one. Um, so we get x minus 1 x squared plus x minus 6 equals 0 and then we just got to factorize this x minus 1 x and x what multiplies gives us minus 6 well that's minus uh, minus 2 and minus 3 or sorry plus 3 and minus 2 and that equals 0 so our solutions are x equals 1 x equals minus 3 and x equals 2 Okay, so we're going to use the, the grid method as well. Let's just try and squeeze it in here. So we got um what have we got? We got oops, we've got the um Okay my pen's gone funny, but anyway. We've got the x minus one that we're told. And then we've got we've got to try and find out what gives us this. So we know that x times x squared is going to make the x cubed. And we know to get plus 6, we need to times by minus 6. That gives us plus 6. So we've got x squared times x is x cubed. We've got minus x squared. We've got minus 6x. And we've got plus 6, which we want. So how are we going to get, um, well, we want 0x squared, don't we? We want 0x squared. We've got minus x squared, so what can we times by x by to, to counterbalance that? Well, we need to times by plus x, because that gives 1x squared minus x squared. Go on the cancel to give us 0. And does that work with this? We get the x times minus 1 is minus x. And we've got the minus x and the minus 6x. That gives us the 7x. So here's our, here's our, our bracket that we had down here. And then we just go on to factorise it as normal. Okay, the second one, we're told x minus 4 is a factor, so let's do the, the division again. I'll do this one a little bit quicker, hopefully. So there's the original polynomial. We've got all the terms this time, x cubed, x squared, x and uh, x to the 0. So what my times by? Well, I'm times by x squared again. So I've got x cubed 
times that by that gives us minus 4x squared. I'm going to subtract these. That's like adding 4x squared to make minus 4x squared. I'm going to bring this down. I'm going to bring this down to get my 11x, my plus 20. And then I need to what, multiply by this to get this. I need to multiply by minus 4x. And that gives me minus 4x squared, which is what I want. And then minus 4 times minus 4 is plus 16x. Subtract those, and then I've got uh, 11 minus well, minus 16 is going to be minus 5x. And then the plus 20 comes down, and hopefully this gives us the right number. We need minus 5 to make that minus 5x, and minus 5 times minus 4 is plus 20, so it's perfect. Okay, and then we do we do it. Oh, well, let's let's do the table first, and then we'll come back to finishing it off with the fact the final solution okay so our factor was x minus 4 and we know it's got to be x squared to make x cubed we know it's got to be minus 5 to make plus 20 so let's put those values in x cubed minus 4 x squared minus 5 x and plus 20 and we want um, either minus 8x squared or plus 11x. Let's actually use the 11x this time. So I got minus 5x, so what do I need to, to add to that to make 11x? I need to add 16x. So I need this to be plus 16x. No, I don't. I'm talking rubbish. This is minus 4. I was looking at the wrong one, I was still doing it the other way. Let's just rub that out. Okay, it's minus 4 down here. Um, I need to multiply this by the minus 4 to get minus... Um, no, plus... minus... yeah. I need plus 16x. I'm confusing myself now. I need plus 16x in here to, make, to add to this to make the 11x. So what do I multiply minus 4 to get plus 16x? I need to multiply by minus 4x. And that hopefully matches that. Those two are the same. That was the the quadratic that multiplies by this factor. So we've got x minus 4, x squared minus 4x minus 5 equals, oh, equals 0. So factorising this bracket, we've got x and x. We've got a multiply given minus 5, but add to give us minus 4, so I'm going to do minus 5 and plus 1, I think, because that gives me the minus 5, and that adds to give us minus 4. There we go. So that equals 0, therefore x equals 4, x equals 5, and x equals minus 1. Okay, hopefully that's helped you to be able to solve these sort of equations. Let's just finish up. Don't like to leave anything and done so let's just put that in there and that should combine to give us the minus 8x squared yes it does well done. okay so that's factor theorem and factorizing cubics where you know one factor and then solving the equation